What's going on guys? Today we're going to go over my Toa Ultimate deck profile. So on the front side of the leader, we're going to have a permanent that allows you to ignore your specified cost on your non-black Xeno cards as well as your Dark Brolies, and it reduces them by one in addition. Now the auto says when we attack, we can take up to one life, and then we can also draw a card when we do so. Note that this is not required upon to you taking the life. So Awaken is four less life. We untap one, draw one. On the back side, we have the same permanent. And then when we attack, it's gonna be a little different. We gain 5,000 power and draw a card. And then once per turn, when one of our battle cards that are Xeno or uh, Dark Broly are removed by an opponent's skill, we get to draw a card. So that's really good. So starting off with our one drops, we have our Unison. Usually you're gonna play this for one. That's why I call it a one drop. And you'd like to see it on turn one. If you don't see it on turn one, it feels kind of bad. So this allows us to plus one, put a one of our targets from hand uh, or drop under the deck. If it's from hand, you get to draw a card. And then the minus three is really good on that. It allows you to build a giant board, summoning three dudes. Moving into our Toa, she's probably the better one drop in my opinion. She allows you to search for a dark dragon ball on play. And then her pay two effect says if you have four more energy, you can pay two and summon a four or less from the deck or hand by discarding one of the Dragon Balls. Like the blue one right there, that one's just discard fodder and or energy for our later blue package. And then the Dark Dragon Ball is actually really good. It allows us to tutor most of our deck. We run a typical super combo, just four or less life draw a card. Nothing special there. Moving into our blue package, we have four Senzu Bean. That's why we like to charge those Dragon Balls if we have extras of them. Uh, we have the two Janimba Negates, they're really good, I like them over Power Burst, and then the three and three Janimba line. It's a really good aggro package, and it's pretty uh, energy efficient, so you get like three 20k plus crit attacks for like two two mana, three mana, it's pretty good. Three because you, you untap one with the four drop most likely, and then the, the six drop just costs one, so... It's really good engine. You get to draw a lot of cards when you evolve into it, and most of the time your opponent's going to take some crit or neg super hard in hand. So it's doing exactly what the deck wants to do, which is like a huge tempo value deck. So moving forward, we have our defense package. It's going to be the two drop slug, which is actually a one drop. This is typically our turn two play. You play him down, and then you block with him on your opponent's first swing, and then you pay the one to summon the nine drop from the deck. Just make sure you guys have a 9-drop in the deck when you do this, because if you whiff, it feels really, really bad. 9-drop is a double blocker, and or he can swing into a battle card, and if he KOs it, he restands. Um, so we have our best card in the deck here, the Majin Buu. He says on play, you get to look at the top 7 for any of your Xeno cards and play one of them. Uh, he's really good with the Janimba chain because you just get to get him out for... It's not technically cheaper, but it's more bodies. And then he can also bring out the 9-drop, but the primary target for him is going to be the 6-drop slug, which we're going to show you right now. This card is absolutely snapped, guys. It's what everyone's been calling like the boost slug slug lock, where uh, he's a triple, triple striker with 25k. We have Boo, who says, if you attack my leader... Uh, while I'm rested, you discard two cards, and then the slug, they're going to have to dig through first, which says while I'm rested, you can't attack my leader or my unison. So this is like the deck's main play, and focus on that when you guys play the deck. We run two board wipes. This card's really, really good. I think it's underrated. I want to put it to maybe three or even four, because when you play it, your opponent chooses to either kill their unison, or you each draw a card and KO their whole board. So it's really nice. We're only playing one of each of the dark bullies, not the blocker because we mainly just play them if we ult with our unison, and that's pretty much the only time I ever play these guys. Um, but they are really good. If you guys think of you want to play a more aggro version of the deck, I'd recommend looking into the Dark Broly line. Uh, it's a very good combo. Uh, Once Secret Identity Mass Saiyan, this card's just good for removal, additional uh, on like the smaller dudes. I had it really useful against um, like a peel-off deck and that, those sorts of things, or even... Uh, King Piccolo and then the secret replay obviously Majibu you could play Celzino, but I don't play enough green to do that And so we play this one because when you go in with your triple strike on the slug you can counter counter Their negate and then you also get another 40k double striker And so this guy is preferable. You can also search the Majibu and or Celzino with a, a Dark Dragon Ball so just keep that in mind when you guys are playing this deck that the dark dragon ball is super valuable it basically searches any card in your deck once per turn and so that's it for my deck profile today guys hope you had a good one enjoy